Whether it's beef cattle or dairy cattle, all cattle need water. Richie brings you fresh water on demand. Richie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Richie Watering Systems. For the week of January 29th, total cattle slaughter was 569,000 head, about 1,000 head larger than the same week of 2015. Weekly average federally inspected cattle slaughter for the month of January was around 559,000 head per week, 1.2% per or 6,000 head per week higher than January of last year. Weekly average cow and bull slaughter was down 6%, leaving the increase to come from steer and heifer slaughter, which was up 3% on a weekly basis. Fed cattle slaughter was forecast at the beginning of the year to run close to year-ago levels for the first quarter, but ran slightly stronger in January with positive packer margins. Packer margins are typically negative beginning in September and continue to decrease seasonally deep into the fourth quarter. Increased leverage over the cattle feeder and a large volume of overweight cattle shipments allowed the packer to pressure the market lower and keep positive margins. Cattle Facts estimates packer margins averaged about $29 per hundredweight in the fourth quarter of 2015 versus the five-year average of negative $32 per hundredweight. Margins were still unseasonably high this January, incentivizing the packer to increase slaughter as fed supplies would allow. Cattle Facts weekly average shipments were 2% higher this January compared to 2015. Pulled forward is a measure of feed yard carryover and scheduled shipments. If positive, it means cattle are getting pulled ahead of schedule. Slower marketings, pushing cattle back, contributed significantly to the weight issue last year. Pulled forward finished January up 1.9%, the first positive month since October, and indicates the cattle feeder is becoming more current with their supply. Packer margins will enter negative territory in February with weakening boxed beef values and strengthening fed cattle prices in a weather-influenced cash market. Historically, packer margins will remain weak until a short positive stretch in March, break down again into April, and increase from late April to a peak in mid-June. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit CattleFacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, CattleFax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. CattleFax, the deciding factor.